So, you want to show off some content on your stream, but you're having to manually adjust your OBS sources because the font is too small for people to see. Well, with this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can share your content like a pro that even will impress the big time streamers out there. As with all tutorials, we will need to install a few things. The first one is Python 3. Over to the Python webpage, scroll down to where you can see the multiple versions. The version I recommend downloading is 3.11.5, which works with OBS version 29.1.3. Click on Windows Installer 64-bit and then launch the installer once it is downloaded. On the setup screen, it is very important you check this box which says add python.exe to path. Then you can click on install now. Now that Python is installed, we need to download the script. Go into the Zoom and Follow GitHub page, click on the green code button, and then download zip. Open the zip file. We only need two files from here, the zoom and follow mouse.py and the requirements.txt files. Copy them onto your downloads folder. We now need to open the command prompt. The best way is to click on to the navigation bar at the top and then type in cmd.exe to open the command prompt window. Make sure this location is correct. You will need to type in the following python -m pip install -r requirements.txt. This will install all the requirements that is needed for this script to work. Once that is done, you can close the command prompt window. Now let's open OBS Studio. Go into Tools and then Scripts. Go into the Python settings and under the Python install path, click on Browse and then browse to the Python install location. Navigate to your C users and username directory. If you do not have hidden files checked, such as mine, you need to manually type in backslash app data in the navigation bar, just like how I have done it here. Then go to local, programs, Python, and then single click on Python 3.11 folder and click on select folder. OBS should say loaded Python version 3.11, which means it has successfully been loaded. Now we can add the scripts. Go into the scripts and click on the plus icon. You will be taken to the OBS scripts folder, so I recommend you copy the zoom and follow mouse script to this directory to keep things organized. Move the file to this location and then double click on it. If you can see the description, then you have everything installed correctly. You will need to resize the window to see the rest of the description. For the zoom source, you will need to pick one of your display captures. I already have one, so I will select that. Make sure to tick on Enable Monitor Override and select the Monitor Override choice. I picked Display 1 because that is the same as my display capture. Everything else can be left as it is, but you can change the zoom window width and height to your liking, but make sure you keep it at the same aspect ratio as your OBS aspect ratio, such as 16 by nine. We are not done yet. You'll need to go to your display capture source, right click, transform and edit transform. Set the positional alignment to center, the bounding box type to scale to outer bounds and alignment in bounding box to center. You can now close the dialogue. Now we are almost there, but you'll need to assign a hotkey to turn the zoom and follow on and off. So go into file, settings, and then hotkeys. On the filter box, type in zoom, and then on the first entry, add your hotkey. I used one of the buttons that are on my mouse. Click on okay, and there you have it. As you can see, you may see my zooming in and out is a bit weird. If you're having this issue, then just go back into your scripts and click on reload list of sources and it should be working for you. If you find the zoom too close, you can adjust the width and height of the zoom, but make sure it is the correct aspect ratio, which is in my case is 16 by nine. And now you can share your content on your stream, just like a pro. Let me know if this video helps. I'll always try to push more content in the coming weeks. So if you could do me a really big favor to just like this video and why not subscribe for more? Ring that notification bell to be alerted for when new videos get released. But as always, stay awesome, stay safe, and stay breathtaking.